Hello and welcome. I'm Ashka Ekshwa to Virtual Storytime at the Lillooet Public Library. My name is Christina, and I wish that I could hear all your names too. Thanks for joining me today. I'd like to start by saying that I'm grateful um, to be able to speak to you here today on the territory of the Stotliam Nation in Lillooet. Next Wednesday is Remembrance Day, and that's what we're going to learn about today. And the target audience for this story time is about age five and up, five to 10 or so. On Remembrance Day, November 11th, we honor those who served courageously in past wars and those who, in some cases, sacrificed their lives to ensure our rights and freedoms today. Is there something special that you notice people wearing around Remembrance Day? Yes, that's right, people wear poppies. Do you know why we wear poppies? That's something you've ever wondered about? Poppies are worn to pay tribute to those who gave their lives in war because poppies grew on the battlefields, especially in World War I on the Western Front. While serving in Belgium in 1915, a Canadian doctor named Dr. John McRae wrote a famous poem called In Flanders Fields. And I'll read that poem later um, as part of a book. But I have a simpler poem that I'd like to share with you today. Um, and here it is, and I'm gonna read it out, out loud once. And then the second time, I'd like to see if you can join in. Poppy, Poppy, what do you say? Wear me on Remembrance Day. Poppy, Poppy, what do you tell? Many soldiers in battle fell. Poppy, Poppy, what should we know? That peace on earth should grow, grow, grow. Can we do that one more time? I'm gonna hold it up a bit closer and if you can read along with me, that would be great. Poppy, Poppy, what do you say? Wear me on Remembrance Day. Poppy, Poppy, what do you tell? Many soldiers in battle fell. Poppy, Poppy, what should we know? That peace on earth should grow, grow, grow. Nice, thanks for joining me in that reading. War is terrible and many people die. We learn about war to learn past mistakes and how to prevent war from happening again. We should all do what we can to prevent war and build a peaceful world. Has anyone in your family served in the military? Maybe you can ask your parents or grandparents. This person here is my husband's great, great grandfather, Private Stanley Monroe, who enlisted in the army in 1916 and who fought in World War I in the Canadian Expeditionary Forces. That's pretty cool that we have that. Let's learn a bit more about what Remembrance Day means by reading this book. This is A Poppy Is to Remember by Heather Patterson and Ron Lightburn um, and published by North Winds Press. Once there was a long and terrible war, a war that some called the Great War. Many young men went off to fight and many did not return home to their families. But still, in the muddy fields where they fought, wild poppies sprang up, glowing brightly. A Canadian army doctor, weary from tending the wounded, wrote a poem about that war and about those poppies. So I'm going to read the poem by Dr. John McRae called In Flanders Fields. In Flanders fields the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead, Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw a sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you, from failing hands we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. And that's the famous poem. His poem was read 
far and wide. When the war finally ended on November 11, 1918, people everywhere celebrated the return to peace. A poppy is to remember those far from home crossing troubled lands. And threatening waters and dangerous skies. The Navy and the Air Force. It is for the wounded and those who cared for them. It is for the dead and those who carried on without them. It is for the brave ones who remain and their memories of battle. A poppy is for peace. Every year on Remembrance Day, it blooms across our land. This says, lest we forget. A poppy is to remember. And that's the end of this book. Now we're going to sing a little thank you song um, to those who fought bravely. This is called the Poppy Song and it's written by the Kaboomers. The song goes like this. And join in if you can. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's all say thank you. We will all say thank you on this special day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's all say thank you. We will all say thank you on Remembrance Day. You all fought so bravely to keep our country free. I'll wear a little poppy as red as red can be to show that I remember those who fought for me. I will wear a red poppy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's all say thank you. We will all say thank you on this special day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's all say thank you. We will all say thank you on Remembrance Day. Nice job. Thanks for singing along with me. Now I have one more song for us. Because of the sacrifices of those that have gone before us, we are able to have peace in our society for the most part, and we are able to share love and joy with each other. So we're gonna sing um, a old song called Peace Like a River. And we're gonna stand up for this one because there's actions. Just follow along. It goes like this. I've got peace like a river, I've got Peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. And then it's got, I've got love like the ocean, I've got love like the ocean, I've got love like the ocean in my soul. I've got love like the ocean, I've got Love like the ocean, I've got love like the ocean in my soul. There's the last verse, it's, I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. So we're coming to the end of today's virtual story time. This year, because of COVID-19, the town isn't putting on a big Remembrance Day ceremony, but maybe you can ask your family to take a moment um, sometime this week to stop by the memorial outside the city hall to remember and honor those soldiers who fought for our freedoms. I'd like to end today with a quote from Veteran Affairs Canada, which provides us with the reminder of what is important. Never forget the contributions and sacrifices of the men and women who have served Canada in times of war, military conflict, and peace, especially those who did not return. Thanks for listening to today's virtual story time with the Lillooet Public Library. I'll be away next week, so the next story time will be in mid-November. Take care and have a good week. Bye-bye.